All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yes. And in this episode, we are going to go out to the uh, medieval castle because I'm going to show off a few things. Uh, yeah. But first, the weather. It is 67 degrees in Chicago. It is gorgeous out. Yes, it is. And I am in a good mood because <laughs> the OBS gods and the Microsoft gods have allowed me to record again. I changed the setting to, um, it outputs to an MKV file in OBS settings, but I changed uh, the codec to uh, H.265. And it appears that it's running much faster and lower um, file size with the same quality. So, we are going to run over to my castle. Yes, we are. Because that's what I've been playing in. And uh, go from there. So, well, I don't know if I'm, I'm currently recording this video, but I did a, I did a mod review on too many nodes is um stoneworks which is a cool mod unfortunately i cannot use it on my medieval world at this time because it opens up too many pages of inventory and it blows the 32,000 plus limit on registering uh registration for nodes so we come in here we we knew that this was all cleaned up and done but we go upstairs and we come to the first doorways and da -da! we have two balconies we have chandeliers chandeliers are going to get redone but we have chandeliers we have definition on the walls we have church sort of church pews they're benches we have a little place up here for uh, a person to it's I think it's called a, a podium. Or is it called? Yeah, a podium. But I'm going to change that. Got some armor stands. Some uh, armor going on here. I don't, I'm not sure about these windows. I might change them all to the, either the red squares or the green squares like I have over here. And it's not a church. But it's a general purpose meeting room. It can be used for anything. It can be used as a church. It can be used for just about anything. So we're going to go look at that real quick. And then we're going to build like a, a sort of stage over here rightly quick. That goes up to the uh, uh, walkway and to the tower. But back here, this stairway goes up. Got some nice wall definition here to break the monotony. And this is the first balcony overlooking, this is for the poor people, overlooking the, uh, the stage. Like they might have a play going on or something, you know. So I filled this in here and I'm going to put some uh, torches behind there to give off a little light. I don't know if I did on here. No, I didn't. And it gives good views. And then we come up, we come back here, and we go up this side, and there's some, some armor, and we come up to the third floor, and I just kept following this up with the, with the glass, and we get those views. Very nice. So, it's all coming together quite well. I wonder... I wanted to check one thing out with the uh, the wooden pew because it, it adds three nodes. But if you take the one away, I'm wondering if I can shorten that to just two. Yes, I can. And there's my park benches. I like that. I am going to have to to work that in. It was getting it was getting a little too gray, so I use this kind of contrasting wall behind here, and I'm going to put some more armor 
stands over here just to give it a nice little contrast so over here now unfortunately the angled stairs aren't going to work in this situation because they don't have that marble the marble is you know i don't have to use the marble hmm i can always go with a different color block you know that would make sense so we have silver stand silver sandstone i want to take a look at that to see how snow block hmm i don't want it i don't want it to contrast too much all right we have the silver sandstone brick ice stairs wow and i don't want to go with wood but i might but there's there's um sandstone and silver sandstone All right, we will play with these for right now because what I want what I want to do is I want to make a small stage area. That does not look bad. Let's see what That don't look bad either. I don't know, that looks pretty cool too. Let's try, let's go back to this one. And I want to turn it. You see, if I do that, then I have to go, I have to go one, one up. Why is that not letting me do what I want? That was not cool. So let's try let's try sandstone brick and see what I can. Mm. Okay, that's stand that's sandstone. That is just sandstone. I wonder how that would look. We, we we can always try. But I do like the sandstone brick. So let us grab... I already have that. Sandstone brick. I think that's all I need for right now. So we are going to go down. We are one away from here. Got to get rid of the podium. I'm going to have to move. I could have probably I could have probably used wood in here also. Now it does, it does kind of, I'm going to have to move those statues. That's not a problem. So what I want to do is I need this. Oh, that looked kind of cool too. But I need, what is that? I don't know. I need the other sandstone block. The sandstone brick. There we go. Because this is going to go here. Now, there. Now we need to turn it. There we go. So now we need some slabs. So Wait a minute. 
I'm just walking around in a circle here. Very nice. And it goes one back to the... to there. So what I'm going to do is I need that there and I need a slab. I need the sandstone slab now. Where are you? And this might change. So basically, um, wow. I cannot find it, but it doesn't matter because I can make one by doing that. And what this is going to do is uh, did it change? I should take it back, shouldn't I? Now Oh, you know what I'm going to do back here? There's nothing. <laughs> oh, it, it's been one of those days. It's not a bad day, though. I could take this all the way down if I wanted to, but I don't. Now, let's go back into the church mod, because I added the church mod into here. And unfortunately, you see, by using that, I kind of limited, we have, I want to see what that looks like. Let's get rid of these, because I already know, I already know what they are. We have marble and we have stone. I want to try the stone ones. If I do that, and that's the end. And that's the end. See, I'm not trying to make this look like a look like a church. And then if I we have the jungle wood pew or jungle wood, we have the aspen one. Let's see what the aspen one looks like. I'm I'm kind of mixing in too many colors. Yeah, something's got to give. I don't like that. I don't know why that was doing that. Every once in a while, certain blocks will... Um, I'm not too sold on that color. That's too light. So I do like the dark one. Now I gotta figure out something for this side here. I don't have to. I think if I just use this and see how that is Oh, yeah. There we go. And then take, take this. And go like that. And that creates... Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. So, I was, if you saw the mod, if you saw the mod review with, um... <laughs> with the uh that I did with stoneworks I was basically using it with no with no um tools no world edit nothing cuz it's a brand new world and it was it was something not having I just realized that there is a screwdriver mod um there is a screwdriver mod unfortunately you kind of have to Take all that out. So what, what this is, what this is basically, what this is basically doing is, you know how you walk into some place and there will be, um, there will be 
what do you call it? Armors. You know, uh, uh, armor. Duh. So, this is like simulating a, um, a full suit of armor just standing there. And back in, back in the medieval time, I can't remember who it was, if it was uh, not Leonardo da Vinci. Um, maybe it was Leonardo. Created... Ooh, how does that look? I guess that looks okay. He created a uh, sort of like a robot statue that the the suit of armor. So the, they didn't have to have a person in it, but when a person came up, the art the armor came to life. It was like a very rudimentary uh, form of um, robotics. I saw it on the Discovery Channel years ago. I think this looks pretty good, but I don't like that. I think what that needs is it's going to have to it's going to have to continue with this. I'm probably going to end up changing the uh, color. I like the design of this, but I might end up changing the color of the stone. So we have that. So let's go take a look at what that looks like, and come up here. My chandelier did not turn out the way that I expected. I was hoping um, to have some kind of grand. So I'm going to have to work on that. So we come up here, we have that down there. It does look like a church. However, like I said, this is a multi-function room. And I wish I could, I wish there was a marble. Because I'd love to take the uh, marble from the floor and use that on there. But I, I will have to look into that. And I might, I'm thinking about doing something up here. Possibly some windows here also. I have to I have to really figure that out. That looks good though. So basically it, it can be a meeting room, it could be, you know, where the senators or whoever you know, the lawmakers are coming in to um vote on laws and stuff. So this is what I got so far. It's just using it's just using uh fences and torches. So I might do something like over in uh, the other part of the, the castle and replace the torches with, with these lamps hanging off the bottom and try to create some something like that. These look okay. It's just when I tried to really make them more elaborate. You know what you know where they um, where I can get inspiration from is that Hogwarts uh, map. There was some chandeliers in there that I wanted to use. So, other than that, we come over here real quickly, and I'm not sold on... I, I kind of like having the different, like, stained glass. I don't see a problem with that. Because I do like the way those look. That's a, this is a stone, the stained glass mod that works well with the with the uh, simple arcs. And if you use that in conjunction with stoneworks, uh, too many mo too many nodes stoneworks mod because he has the arches that go over the um, one node wide and these real cool iron fences. Now I can simulate that. In this in these mods however um that mod that he he does just looks so good other things that i've added i have a room here we come back here he had these thin walls in the stoneworks mod so it, it takes this claustrophobic uh passageway of one node wide and basically it puts a thin wall in the middle of the node which turns it into like one and a quarter, so you get one and a half nodes wide. I want, I really wanted to try that. So it comes up here, this goes up to here, which this is like a room for the guards, it's gonna be a sleeping quarters, and then it comes out here onto, onto here. So that is how that works. And then there's also, you know, a, a, you know, the, 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 um, the trap door and everything is still working.
to get to the lower level in an emergency, or you just come out here and that's where that trap door is. So that's been added. And then this, this comes down here. You know, obviously this is where one of the lookout towers. So that's all working. I'm carrying a light. I don't know why. Maybe because it's dark in here. But I really like how this turned out. So things that I'm going to, and I, I put these columns in and I use the stairs upside down, upside down stairs and the upside down inner corner to um, give that kind of look of definition because I'm having a problem with, I, I need to bring in more colors. I need to bring in more contrast in here. And that's what I was hoping to do with this kind of like uh, stage area is, is change that. So I'm going to look at different stone colors and these, these uh, stained glass windows around here. I like that one in the back. It's very simple and I can, you know, bring it around. So it's either going to be these in the back or I have these red ones and then I have the green ones, but I use too many. I use all that's green. So to, to break up the monotony and I have the green insets in the second floor and the third floor, but th that can all be changed. I mean, that's, that's not a problem. So I'm definitely liking this, um, kind of like, a, a, a light blue, blue, green and yellowish window to put those all the way around it for consistency. But yeah, very one has it. And of course, now that I've raised this up, it kind of makes these windows look a little goofy, but I can't change it because if you go on the outside, yeah, I have it spaced, but it's livable. It's no big, it's a no big deal. So I'm, I'm probably going to put some seating up here on the second and third balcony. And I need to do something with that roof because I'm going to add some like, I'm not sure if it's going to be stone ribs or maybe some, um, maybe some wooden beams interacting up there, but that's supposed to be a grand, you know, ceiling. Or I can completely replace those blocks with the marble because those are all just blocks. There's no stairs, no slabs. So I could basically just um, use World Edit and replace uh, cobblestone, default cobblestone, with the uh, Technics um, brick or the marble brick and, and do that. And that would add that would add enough contrast. And then I was thinking also about doing something. So we have this up here, but I want to see how, I, no, I don't think I can get away with it. If we take that one and if we take another slab, I was looking for a wood because the wood would also give. Now I can't find my wooden slams. Doesn't matter. We'll get we'll get oak planks then. Thank you. What is that? Oh, oak door. So oak more trees, oak plank. Go in here. And put that in there. I want to try something real rightly quick. Where did I take that from? There. And if I take this and go like that, and of course I have to say here, it's just, you know, th that's the one thing. There, do that. Now, if I take, and I'm even thinking about doing this, let's see how. This would look having a wooden walkway. You know what? That looks cool. Now for the columns, I'm going to have to do something different with. 
I can always uh, move the columns out, or I can take and where the columns are sitting, do that. And then, so it has the stone. Let's do this real quick. Why not? Let's see how one side will look. Because that it, ooh, that was, that was stupid. The thing is, is it adds, um, it adds, that adds a cool look and it, it breaks up. It breaks up all the, um, now what I can do here is I can put some ribs across here to, to make it, you know, more, more stable. Oh, no, that's going to be, that is going to be a rib, but we have to, we have to see how that's going to look. We're just going to do this one side here and then take a look, look on top. No, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm the kind of person that will put his hand in the fire. Why does that not look right? I'm the kind of person that will that will put their hand in a fire and then go, hey, was that hot? Now three, three, three. And leave that alone. Ah oh, I'm liking this. Oh, I'm stuck. I could probably even take that back a little bit on those. And if this look, if this turns out, yeah, I stopped right there. If this turns out that good, that is cool. It adds, it adds just a bit of. It adds a little bit more contrast, and that's what I that's what I was looking for. So we come up here and we have these inner plank sections. I'm wondering if I should bring those back one. Mm. I'm gonna leave that alone. I like that. I could have probably done something in here, but no, that's too much. I know it. it I think that it's just enough contrast. It looks. You know what the. You know what the problem is. Is it looks better from underneath than it does on top. But that, that's, that's a cool look. And it, it breaks up in the monotony, and it adds, um, it adds just enough contrast. And then I'll do it on the upper one. Because I have to bring, I have to extend the um, columns up to, uh, you know, I forgot to do that. How did I, how did I forget that? Oh, this might be a problem because this is one back. So it overlooks, it's, it's, it's kind of tiered. I'm going to have to work on that. I can always, oh no, you know what? It would come right here. So basically that would go there and... Now, you see, that's going to cause a problem. Well, that caused a problem. There. That's not a problem, because I can always take that out and put a block in there. And then follow that through. Cool. So I'm going to work on that. You know, that I don't like that. I'm going to have to come up with something different. I 
I kind of I kind of don't like that because it, it interferes with the walkway. If I had it where it came out on the end here, but I can't have it. I might, have, you know, I might have what I might have to do is I might have to extend that and make it the same distance. That will work. Because if you're standing here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So this is all going to be extended out one. It's going to mimic this one. And then I can bring uh, the columns all the way straight up. That will look sharp. That will look most excellent. So. There we have it. I don't even know how long I've been going for. Um, don't want to. Thirty-one minutes. Wow. So that's going to do it. Um, I am digging that. So that's a, that's a plan. This is going to come out, and it's going to create the upper balcony. We have the little uh, stage going on here they can watch plays and stuff and go from there and really give a cool perspective on what is what is happening so i need to take a screenshot that's not how one there we go <laughs> there we go if i do this so that's gonna that's that's gonna about do it. Maybe if I come up here. Ooh. That even looks a better screenshot. It had some mystery. <laughs> it had some uh yes. I I haven't been to bed yet. Um I work like I said, I work overnights and this is my only day off. So, got my laundry done, got um, everything done, all the chores done, so now it's time to play. And there you have it. So, we're going to make my way back up to my house, and um, we are going to call it a video. So, yeah, what I'm, what I'm... What I need to work on is I need to figure out a way of getting too many nodes as um, Stoneworks mod to work on this world without breaking that 32,000 bit limit. Because if you watch the Stoneworks uh, mod review, there are some blocks in there that I absolutely need for this world that would make this world just pop. So I'm going to work on that, even if I have to pirate parts of the Lua and just create like you know, it limit the amount of blocks that it, uh, that it spawns. There's a couple, you know, make a couple woods and cobblestone and brick and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there you have it. So my, my medieval world is coming along nicely and we will go from there. So thank you very much for joining and, um, everybody until the next video, everybody have a warm, safe, dry week and goodbye.